Okay, we have here today another integral. I've got the integral of one over x squared minus one squared dx. And this is actually a problem I did a week or so back, but I wanted to try an alternative method that was suggested to me in the comments. So for his method, the first step was actually to do a substitution, doing the substitution x equals one over t. Rearranging, we could see that our t value is the same thing as one over x. dx is just gonna be minus one over t squared dt. So I'll just go ahead with this. So first, I'm gonna write this as a minus one in the numerator, dt, and then I'm gonna bring the t squared over here, this t squared, so that I can distribute it into what we have here. This is gonna become one over t squared minus one. I think I could put this in the numerator or distribute it in and it would work about the same. So I think what I'm gonna do is distribute it in. So what's gonna happen here, we still have our minus one dt in the numerator. So because both these terms are squared, I'll just multiply this in as a t, and I get 1 over t minus t, all squared. But now because this is squared and the sign doesn't matter, I can actually rearrange this just because I feel like it and write it as t minus 1 over t. And that's not going to change it, and we'll have minus 1 dt still in the numerator. And then from here, the thing I want to notice is that we have this t minus 1 over t. And just notice we could do an alternative factoring of this. If we just look at t plus 1 over t squared, and we compare it to this. Well, let's just notice if you multiply this out, it's going to be t squared plus 1 over t squared minus 2. If you multiply this one out, you get t squared plus 1 over t squared plus 2. So if I just subtract a 4 here, then at this point, this here is going to be actually the same thing as what we have here. So what I'm working towards is splitting this into two integrals. So the first one is going to look kind of like this so we're gonna have t minus one over t squared. I'm gonna leave the numerator blank for now because I don't know what that is yet. And then for our second integral, I'm gonna use this as my denominator. I'm gonna write it as t plus one over t squared minus four. Again, these are the same thing, so we can do this. But now at this point, we have to figure out what's our numerator gonna be and how do we do it so it's still minus one. Well, what I can do is set up two substitutions. So the first one, I'll do a u substitution here. So I'll call this my u, and then I'll take a derivative, and we find this is going to be 1 plus 1 over t squared dt. So I'm just going to take this and make this my numerator here, just because it's convenient right now. So we'll use that for now. And then for the second integral, we're going to look at this piece, and I'm going to call this, I'll use another value, we'll say this is w, so we'll say w equals t plus 1 over t. And I'll take a derivative and find the dw, it's really similar, it's going to be 1 minus one over t squared dt. And then we'll just force this numerator to be this. And at this point, some people might be wondering, how do you just make the numerator whatever you want? Well, a couple things. Now, first of all, the way we have this right now, the one over t squared and the minus one over t squared, when we add the numerators together, those are gonna cancel. And then when we add the ones up, we have a two. So we did change it because we want it to be minus one. But there's a really easy fix. If I multiply this one by minus one half, and I multiply this one, by minus one half. Now the, now the one over t squareds, these still cancel. We have minus a half, minus a half, gives us minus one. And again, these denominators are just this, so we haven't changed it. So we've set it up exactly the way we want it, and we're set up to integrate. Okay, now at this point, we'll just go ahead with this substitution. So here, we have it all set up. This is gonna be just u squared in the denominator, and this is just gonna be du. And then for this one, again, we have our dw in the numerator. And then the denominator, this is actually just going to be w squared minus 4. So now at this point, we're ready to integrate. This here is just power rule. So we're going to end up for this is just going to be 1 over 2u. For this thing, I'm going to bring my minus 1 half out front. And then I'm actually just going to set this up to use a formula. I'm going to write this. I'm going to write this here as 2 squared. And so the formula for this is going to be 1 over 2 times our a value. But our a value here is just this 2. So this is going to become 1 fourth here. And then this is going to give me natural log w minus 2 over w plus 2. But this 1 half times 1 fourth, I can clean this up and write it as 1 over 8. And then all we're going to need to do is back substitute to finish it off, but it's a little tricky. I'm going to get some different values. So I'm going to put together. So what I can do for the u and the w is get a common denominator. So I can write this as t squared minus 1 over t. And then we can write this one as t squared plus 1 over t. So then here, plugging in our u value, I can write this 1 over 2. I can write this as t squared minus 1. But then to clean this up as we're dividing by this t, let's just erase this and bring this into the numerator here. 
And then let's just focus on cleaning up this w minus 2, w plus 2 before we back substitute it. Let's just see if there's room to simplify this over here. So we have our w value. We're going to use this t squared plus 1 over t minus 2. And then we'll plug, a, we'll plug our w in, in the denominator too. And this is going to be like t squared plus 1 over t plus 2. And then what I want to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by t over t. So when we, when we distribute this in, we're going to end up with t squared minus 2t plus 1, and then t squared plus 2t minus 1. But both these are perfect squares, right? I can write this as t minus 1 squared over t plus 1 squared. So let's take this expression and we'll just plug it back in here. So at this point, what I'm really trying to do is match my solution from the other video. What I can do is break this up again. I probably could have just left it, right? We could do this as 1 fourth times 1 half. Take this 1 half into the exponent, so we have minus 1 over 4. But then by putting this 1 half in the exponent with everything squared, this just becomes t minus 1 over t plus 1. And at this point, we have it back to t, but we need to get everything back to x. So we'll continue up here, and we want to plug in 1 over x for all of our t values. So we're going to end up with, so here for this t, we're going to have 1 over x. And this is going to become t 1 over x squared minus 1. And then here we're going to have minus 1 over 4 natural log, and this is going to become 1 over x minus 1 over 1 over x plus 1. And just to clean it up, I'm going to multiply by x over x here. And for this one, I'm going to multiply by x squared over x squared, just because I'm trying to get all this stuff out of the denominator. So when we distribute this in, we end up with x here. Then here we're going to have 2. This is going to be 1 minus x squared. Then we'll have minus 1 over 4, natural log. Multiplying this in here, we're going to have 1 minus x. 1 plus x, but because we're inside the absolute value, I can reverse this here, and I can write this as, so I can write this as x minus 1. I can reverse this just because I feel like it, right? And then I can reverse this one just by bringing a minus up front. So for my final solution, bringing the minus up front here, I'm going to have minus 1 half x over x squared minus 1, minus 1 over 4, natural log x minus 1 over x plus 1, plus c, and that's it. So there you have it, good alternate method with the substitution x equals one over t. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.